Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy from the Clayman Thyroid Center at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. We have another edition of Reuters Goiters. Today we have a 49-year-old woman who has a three-year history of her multinodular goiter. So she knew about her thyroid goiter three years ago and she was having it monitored with ultrasounds. She had multiple biopsies that were benign and she just didn't want to have surgery for cosmetic reasons. So she waited and waited and then eventually her thyroid grew so big that not only was it visible, but it was causing her trachea or her windpipe to be completely pushed over to one side and she was having significant symptoms. So let me show you how big this thyroid mass is when we go to the operating room. So here we are in the operating room with this patient. This is her chin. This is her collarbone. This is her large mass. So this is a right-sided mass. This is her midline. So the right side of her thyroid gland should actually be ending here, but the mass is so big, it's pushing her trachea over. So you can see it's this whole big mass. She actually has this normal left-sided thyroid lobe that's being pushed over to this side that I'll show you in the ultrasound in a little bit. So I'm gonna make a low collar incision right here and take the right side of her thyroid gland out. And I'll show you that in the specimen later. Okay, so now that you saw her huge thyroid mass in the operating room, let me show you what her images look like. So this is her ultrasound. So this is her huge right side of her thyroid gland. It's so big that we actually needed two pictures and two ultrasound images to show how big the thyroid is. So what actually shows it to be more impressive is if you look at this CT scan here, like I showed you in the operating room, her windpipe was completely pushed over to the other side. So here's her windpipe here. Her windpipe should be in the middle, but her huge right-sided thyroid mass is pushing it over to the other side. So what I did for her is I removed the right side of her thyroid gland, and you can see here, this is her huge right-sided mass. So I made an incision right above her collarbone. Again, just to get the right side, I was able to save the left side of her thyroid gland. She recovered beautifully. She, went, she left the hospital and went home the same day, and she's doing great. She doesn't need any thyroid hormone replacement, her, and all of her symptoms are relieved from her tracheal deviation. So that's what's so interesting about this case, is tracheal deviation. She had this huge mass that was pushing her trachea all the way over to the other side. So what is tracheal deviation? Tracheal deviation is when you have a mass or that's causing essentially a pressure effect, pushing your windpipe all the way to the other side. And the symptoms that tracheal deviation causes is difficulty breathing, coughing, asthma, or weird breathing type of symptoms or sounds. Um, so these are things that you should be aware of if you do have a multinodular goiter. If you do have a goiter, then please contact us for an expert evaluation at thyroidcancer.com.